The question is, since he's getting approached for so many important causes of charity, and it's hard for him to give each of those uh, people that are requesting and the, the same charity. cause comes under different um, uh, disguise. Well, let's, let's break it off. First, let's start with, let's say, let's say it's different causes. A person gets approached, whether it's through email or mail or in person, or in shul, people get approached for charity. Sometimes it could be many times a day. Does a person have to give each person, does he have to respond to give each person the charity? And then secondly, secondly, if a person gets approached for the same cause more than one time and he really gave that cause one time, does he have to give a second time for that cause as well? Well, number one, the main obligation to give charity, you cannot refuse. If the person's asking in person, he's there asking you. He's knocking on your door or he meets, meets you at a wedding or wherever it might be at a simcha. And the person's asking, I need money. I, 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 I'm a poor person. I need it. So that is the main time we cannot refuse. We have to give them something. We can't give them everything that they need, but we have to chip in everybody together. Together, it will make up for what he needs, hopefully. If he needs for uh, his family for food, if he needs to marry off a child, if he needs for a medical purpose. So people asking in person, that is the main uh, time when we cannot say to a person, no, I'm not giving you. You have to give him something, whatever we can afford. Uh, getting in the mail, uh, naturally, it's a big mitzvah for everything that we uh, give every time. But uh, we can't, uh, it would be hard for everybody to give every letter that comes. I mean, it's, it's just overwhelming. The amount of mail comes in for different causes. So we have to uh, use our judgment or speak to our rabbi and ask him what we think he thinks the best uh, place to give a person's money for charity. and How much he should give. Certain causes uh, are more important than others. Or in certain causes, there's much more of a of a uh, institution who needs more money than the other institutions and uh, different causes, like you're saying, maybe a person gave to the same cause already on the, for a different, different uh, organization, but they're collecting for the same thing. So naturally, you have to, you'd have to, that's, you wouldn't have to give it to the same cause again unless you can afford it. But uh, we have to choose the, that what comes in the mail, which is uh, things that are uh, the most important, so to speak, and um, uh, of course we say that the Chavetz uh, Chaim talks about that charity is people who are studying Torah and uh, don't have uh, need support from the public for the, for the Jewish public to keep them supported. That's the biggest, best charity to give to yeshivas and Alkaylo uh, for young men sitting and learning. Those are the things that we should be high above our list to give first. Because those people are keeping uh, the world going. The people are keeping uh, God to give abundance of blessings to the world. So Torah is the most important thing to give to. Uh, people who are needy, uh, they want to be able to study Torah without any uh, uh, distractions. So that's the uh, biggest tzedakah to give. And of course, uh, uh, there are so many other causes. And, 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 and we have to try to get somebody from different hospitals are asking for so and naturally, if you give to one hospital, uh, so uh, the other hospital, if you have enough to give, good. But if not, you want to uh, diversify. Who are you giving it to? For these, for to spend something, calling up. They they have children, uh, children's orphanages, or children that are chas or sick, and you have people the, that, uh, uh, that, that, that 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 have medical expenses for the family, and uh, they uh, have. Uh, Different organizations for, for homes for people that are that are not well, the people that are mentally not well and physically not well. There's so many causes there, but should try to diversify to give each uh, type of thing. Uh, uh, that's number one. Once we get to each type, then we can think about giving another organization that uh, uh, gave to that cause before. But this is a different organization, so if we're able to, we can give as many. Uh, as many letters you can answer and as many return envelopes and put some money in a check, that's the best thing to do.